gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys, so this is going to be the beginning of my labor and delivery vlog. I go in tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. in the morning to be induced. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just trying to get everything ready and just spend the day with Parker because it is his last day as an only child. Um, but I am going to be being induced because of gestational diabetes and IUGR, which I will show you guys the paperwork. It is a different um, hospital than Parker was born at and a different OB than I had with Parker. Um, so we'll see how everything goes. At the last appointment that I have for her growth, she was, um, yeah, she was said to be 5 pounds 11 ounces. So we will see what she comes out as. I will be, tomorrow, I will be exactly 39 weeks. So, you got me. Yeah. about being a big brother? Mm -hmm. You excited? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's baby sister at right now? Baby to mama belly. Yeah, still in mama's belly, and then she's going to be out soon. <laughs> My little ticket. Yep, mama. So I have my hospital bag and then my nursing pillow to bring, and we the last, like, belly. Shot. Okay, so we are at the hospital. The only thing that's happened so far is that I have gotten in my gown. We are just in the room waiting for them to come. It is 5.11 and I'm checked in at five. So he will show you around in a bit after I get all settled with my, my stuff. Okay, so just a little update. It is 6.20 and they gave me my oxytocin or whatever that is. And then I got all my bands and he is over there. Um, and then we're gonna do my fingerprints at some point. Should I go get stuff for that? So it is now almost 7 and I'm starting to feel some contractions and just be slightly uncomfortable. But we've probably got quite a while to go. <laughs> um, she well, said some hours later. Yeah. They said that the like uh, my OB person would come around 7, 7.30 so we'll see. It's about to be 7. Um, Okay, so I just saw the OB. She just came in and um, checked my belly and heart and all of that. They said um, oh, they are giving somebody a C-section and then after that they will be able to do my epidural. And they're giving me fluids because you have to have all the fluids and stuff before you get the epidural. So I should be getting, I don't know how long a C-section takes, but... I mean, after that, I should be getting it. Um, she wants to give it to me before she breaks my water just so that I'm not in any pain, which is very nice of her.
Okay, now go ahead and round over best you can, kind of curl over that baby. All right, so this is some gummy medicine. Okay, this smells like a little bee sting and then it burns for a few seconds. Ready, one, two, three. Sorry. Her eyes were just open, but now they are not. Hi, Ari. There she is. There she is. said that we might be able to leave today if she passes her test we'll see it is 10 43 in the afternoon we're just like laying around waiting because her she wasn't born until 3 50 so we gotta wait until then for them to do the test we are waiting for our celebration dinner um so we'll see how that is but we're just getting some cuddles she passed all her sugar tests Last night was her last one. Yeah, and then she's opening her eyes and looking around. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little bummed they didn't let us film um, the actual like labor part of this video but it's the hospital rules so that's that we got our measurements and stuff though i hope he was supposed to film that so we'll see when i edit oh, yeah. we're just glad to have a little ari ray here hopefully she'll get to see her big brother today this is our celebration dinner got steak broccoli mashed or a baked potato and uh, cheesecake and then he's over there. Green beans. Got green beans and mashed potatoes. Cheesecake. Sister. Sister. She's so little. Do you want to give her a kiss? 
Be careful. Oh. Yeah. Here you go. So, so cute. cute. Yeah. You like her? You okay with keeping her? She's so tiny. Oh. Oh. I just got pacified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That'd be nice to be.